back to 13. Oh! <laughs> Eagle chip there from <laughs> from Monet Inami. It's a go. She's three under par for the round. What an easy pin here at 14, right on the front. Coming from the first cut of rough. Well, I didn't think it was that easy a pin, but just throwing darts. In any other country, I have to say. The caddy carousel. It's like that on the men's oh, tours, oh. but it's just not planned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Chisato Iwai, jump over that oh. bunker. Yes, it did. What a shot. That is a fabulous shot. Get in. <laughs> I'd be smiling too. That for an eagle. They've got trading cards on the JLPGA. They've got all sorts of things you can buy in the tented village. These players are megastars in this part of the world. I would say it's suiting is, is Siganda, and she is not. Yamashita's second shot down the hill at 10. Three wins this year on the Japan LPGA Tour. She is number one on the money list. That is exactly why. What a cracking shot there at 10. Yamashita this to get within one of the lead. Beautifully done. Seven under par. That makes it four Japanese. Middle of 10. Momoka Ueda. Oh. First shot we've seen her play today, and that has gone left of left. And coming off a bogey at nine as well. She's got plenty of experience, the 36-year-old, but she's going to left-hand side. Easy to chunk it here. Got to accelerate through it. She's done very nicely. Get in. Oh, thank you very much. Third into 18. Just 80 yards. Oh, yeah. Absolute beauty. Gemma stayed in Korea last week. She didn't go. Uh, yeah, she didn't go home after the career. Round of five under par 67, and to move within two of the lead, beautifully done. Bogey free. Well, that's terrific. She must be very, very happy with that. A 67 for Gemma Dryberg. Six for a birdie at 15. Beautifully finished off that one. Yu Yamashita trying to get it ever closer on the 13th hole. That will be a birdie opportunity for the Japan number one. Who only trails by one. Six is birdie putt. Right to left, uphill. Oh, perfect. That's another one. Absolutely perfect pace. Love that. That's two in a row from 20 feet. She's poured in the middle. Yet she missed it from two feet on 12, and she's only two. Story that is. This is a good story. This is to tie the lead from Yamashita at 13. Yeah. Beautifully done. Confidently rolled in as well. Position that she's very familiar with. Miyu Yamashita. It was won by Sun Hyung Park that year, but got on the radar, the golfing radar. I think she was an amateur that year. I yeah. remember being there. That was 2017 as Arin Ahn plays her third shot at 16. and. I don't think we've seen her yet, and that's to get within three of the lead, quietly going about her business. Well, I can tell you that slow-mo was actually her in a bad mood. <laughs> well, we can learn a lot from her, can't we? <laughs> I Suzuki, third shot, beautifully played. 13th. Off the edge of the green, big breaker from left to right. Stay there, stay there. Excellent. We're just not going to get a smile today, are we? It's just as simple as that. There is no move to nine under and take the lead all by herself. It's an unorthodox putting stroke, but it's one that works extremely well. That was a waste of 30 seconds. She should have just picked it up. <laughs> Still not made a bogey. I mean, that's pretty impressive. We're, smile. we're rooting for her now, smile. aren't we? <laughs> Come on. That's a birdie. Birdie. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh. Maybe a little smile. No, no. A wave. Yep. The wade up. Excellent golf shot. That should produce. Being in the gym myself as a waiter, this to tie the lead, get to minus nine. Beautifully done, and a fist pump to boot. I still think flexibility is one of the most important things in golf. As long as you're flexible, you can play for a long time. And 14, she's in a share of the lead. This will suit her little drawer in here at 15. 
yeah. beautiful shot. Now these players are certainly not going to do it, but there's two greens in this hole. There's another green over to the left. If you hook one over on that. Oh, thank heavens it's the November one because, oh no, no, that's the wrong way. It will be steamy. Sorry, sorry. February in Saudi is quite pleasant. Well, pleasant, 90. Yes. All class. Right in the middle. Seven under and only two strokes behind. Suzuki, look how far away the ball is from her feet. Mm -hmm. She, she held a similar one this length on this hole yesterday, but not to me today. Now for three birdies on the bounce for Momoko Ueda. Oh, left it in the jaws. Oh, that was frustrating. After such a good tee shot. And I, Suzuki, could breathe a sigh of relief because they are still both locked on nine under par with Suzuki from your forehead and it will land um, on, the, on, the, on the ground where your ball is. Is that because it helps with the alignment and looking down the line of the putt? Well, I think for starters, when you really rotate and, you know, the modern way, really and truly if you got if you're standing straight over the ball you pretty much you might have a tiny bit of rotation but you're taking it almost straight back straight through <laughs> she does not do that well, she the, does what it what what she sets up to do in the, all honesty and the she? further opportunity for her to draw level on nine under par alongside suzuki and ueda food away third shot beautifully done down to ground level we see the best in the Japanese game hole out for a birdie and what that means is that Miyu Yamashita making a birdie at the 16th hole we have three players at the top of the leaderboard on nine under par they gotten away from her she's fought back really well mm, okay. Stop. Yamashita oh how good is that this is quick Trish we saw this one the other day right to left every putt she's hit today past the hole yeah, giving see. it a chance yeah. every time no wonder she's Spot playing on. so well mm -hmm. it's uh, but again you know it, she loves these greens she likes the golf course she knows it it suits her it suits her stroke it suits her game she's got a massive advantage there straight away because she steps onto that first tee knowing that she's going to putt well maining Mama Koeda tapping in also on the 16th, so they will march to the 17th on nine under par. Suzuki and Momoko Ueda. It really is anyone's game. Ajari and Nana Rukan would love this left to right putt to oh. go in, and it does. Wow. That is one of the best putts we have seen today because that is not an easy putt to make. Uh, Japanese players with only Lee six features right at the very top. Come on. <laughs> it's a good job she hasn't got a white top on, isn't it? <laughs> you could have a tennis racket in your hand and you'd be well away, wouldn't you? <laughs> I don't know, actually, you might be right here. She might actually be laying, just being sensible. Maybe just making kind of get it to run up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, clever shot. Just the ball below her feet as well made it tougher. But I just know there are certain points on this golf course where the ball tends to... That strength that you get. Legs and glutes and using the ground, they call it these days. Power oh, comes power. from the ground up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a smile on the face <laughs> from Momoko Ueda and the crowd clapping would suggest that that putt went in. <laughs> and indeed it has. <laughs> Certainly worth another look, and maybe from a different angle this time, because this is the putt that Momoko Ueda had just a moment ago from the back of the green at 17. Not easy. No, you've got no business holding this at all. It <laughs> <laughs> was never missing. And she's the first player this week to get to double figures under par. solid day in the office for Miu Yamashita a 68 to add to her 67 finds her very much in just outside right oh, 
wasn't going slow enough to drop in the side door. That's going to be a tap in though for Momoko Oeda. So she still has the lead at this moment on 10 under par. And it will stay that way. And she does. I Suzuki, a champion at this golf course, a round of 70, a 17-time winner on the JLPGA.